So this is a video of how to record behaviors on Arbor. So there's different ways of doing it, um, depending on whether you're teaching a class or not teaching a class. So if we take the first scenario where you're not teaching the class and you want to be log a behavior incident, so for example, something's happened at lunchtime, you click on there on the shortcuts to log a behavior. It then automatically comes up with date, which obviously you can change. Um, you then say when that has taken place. So it's at lunchtime, it gives you the time of the incident there. You can then put in the students that are involved. So if you start typing some of the letters um, of the name of the student involved, so um, that will come up with all the, the Thompsons. So I put in Noah and the behavior was, Noah was, um, he had his headphones out, headphone use. Um, I'm just gonna write in there a test. So I'm testing the system now. The location of that, was um, in the cage area. I then click next, and then I can then assign Noah a detention. Right, well, I'm gonna cancel that for now, that um, instance. So that's if I am not teaching the person, and I can put multiple students in there. Now, if I'm teaching them, um, if I go to take attendance, and then choose a class I'm teaching, so here is um, set, um, eight in maths. Now there's three ways um, I think here of being able to log an instant. So one way is to select multiple students on your list, um, on the class list, which is towards the bottom. So I've selected three students. I'm now gonna log the instant by pressing that. Um, it automatically comes in with the students' names and the date of when this has happened. Um, I then put down the behavior, so it is um, homework. So if I type in home in here, it will automatically highlight the um, behaviors where homework is in there. I then click on the failure to complete homework. I can then put a summary here. So I'm just going to say on test system here. Um, it's automatically got the lesson in and where I'm teaching them, which is M5. I then click next and I can then assign them a detention um, from the drop down menus here. Now these aren't live today. Um, they will come on um, tomorrow when, um, when it rolls over into the next academic year. So I'm not gonna cancel that. Um, another way of doing it is via my classroom. So I've got my seating plan here. So just be careful here. You've got the student view and the teacher view, right? So if you click on that icon on the top right, that will take off SEN information, free school mails information. I mean, we, we certainly wouldn't want to be showing that to the students in the classroom. So we, we've got there, um, that just alters that. Now I'm gonna now select multiple students. Uh, so I'm gonna select Connie and I'm gonna select Mia. And then I can then record their behavior incident here, um, which is a different way. Now we've got some quick um, quick ones that I can put in. So you can actually go through all the different behavior types via this um, here. So if I typed in fighting, that would then come up. We have some quick ones. So they all got a house point for class work. I can put in the, um, a summary of what's happened there. And then I can log that incident uh, by pressing that button there. Okay, and they've all got themselves a house point. All right, so to come out of that, so I must remember that's Connie and Mia, take the house points off. All right, so going back into here, um, I can also, um, if I untick these here, I can also uh, record a behavior on the right hand side. So if I click on behavior, log an instant, I can then log an instant on this menu here, which goes through the same process as when we ticked. So that is how to complete behavior behaviors on the new Arbor system.